Welcome parents. My name is Jennifer Greer and I am the sixth grade team leader here at Elkridge Landing Middle School. I wanted to create this video and walk you through what the day is going to look like for your student, which will hopefully answer some questions that you have and also give you some helpful hints and some guidelines for making your student the most successful student that they can be. So here are some reminders of things that you need to complete on or before Tuesday. It's really important that you log on to hcpss.me and you find your student's active directory and password. It would be a really good thing to write it down so that your student has this in a place where they can see it in case they forget. It is something that they're going to need to use every single day and until they are in the swing of things and have the routine down, having it written down is a really good strategy. The other thing that you're going to want to do once you have logged on to hcpss.me and found your Active Directory is to log on to Synergy. This is where they're going to find their, your, their schedule. After Synergy, then you're going to want to log on to Canvas. And then finally, logging on to G Suite, which is their Google Drive, this will allow them to be logged into the website so that when we access instructional materials, it's one less step. So this is what their Canvas dashboard will look like. It should populate with four academic courses plus the ELM student resource page. It might have courses from last year and that's okay. One really important thing that you need to draw your students attention to is that in order to access the Google Meets, you need to look in the calendar. The Google Meet codes are events in the calendar. So once you click on the calendar, which is down um, here, circled, it'll give you the view of the month and on the, on the days that you're looking for your Google Meets, you would click on that class specific Google Meet to get to their Google Meet. This is what that view looks like. So let's say I needed to go to this meeting here. I would click on the link or I would click on the event and then it would give me the link to the Google Meet. Each course in order to see the events needs to be activated. And so to activate the calendar for the course, you have to have this box shaded in in whatever color. We'll go through during the first couple weeks of school and tell the tell the students how to modify and change and customize their calendars so that they can change the colors. Um, but if the calendars are not turned on, then you will not see anything in the calendar view. This And then this down here, the note at the bottom is also really important that it can become a little bit overwhelming, but all of the course assignments will show up in calendar. This is what the schedule view looks like in Synergy. You should have a homeroom and then four classes. This is what the schedule for the live classes look like. So the big schedule that we have shown you if you went to the Google Meet on Thursday or if you looked on the county's website, it's a little bit confusing to know what you are required to do. These are the classes that kids are required to attend. We will be taking attendance in these classes. So they have a class from 9 to 9.45, 10 to 10.45, 1.10 to 1.55, and 2.10 to 2.55. Next. There are extra support classes that are not required, but highly recommended. 
Within this first week, there probably won't be much need for you to go to those extra support classes unless you have course specific questions or you have questions for your teachers. You can go to those classes. Make sure you are following the schedule. Period one only has support classes on Monday and Thursday. Period two has support classes on Tuesday and Friday. Period three has support classes on Monday and Thursday. And period four has support classes on Tuesday and Friday. One more thing in the schedule is that on Monday from 1050 to 1120, there is something called SEL slash flex time. SEL stands for social emotional learning. There has not been guidance yet from the county if these are mandatory courses, so you will just have to hold tight for now. But this would be a time where we would be doing community building activities, relationship building with each other and with your homeroom teacher. The SEL and slash flex time is a class that you do in your homeroom classes. So here are just some things to remember. Here are some things to remember. Your teachers are going to be very understanding and patient with you this first week. If you can, designate a space for you to do your work. Keep your schedule visible. It will help the kids stay on track during the day. Set alarms if they have phones or if you can set alarms on the device that the student is using about five to seven minutes before the class is supposed to begin, especially these first couple weeks to remind them that this is your schedule, this is your routine, these are the times that you're going to be logging on for your synchronous classes, which again are your live face-to-face -face meetings with your teachers. Now, we know within those first weeks that there are going to be challenges, but if you wake up late or you forget to go to a class and it's past the class time when it's supposed to start, it is better to go to the class late than not to show up at all. That completes this video and I want to leave you knowing that we are working as hard as we can for your students and we are very excited to see them on Tuesday. We will be happy to answer questions and we are looking forward to doing this together.